Welcome back to Chemistry. I'm Jeremy Krug with another chemical demonstration. Today, I want to demonstrate a catalyst. Now, this is probably the most common catalyzed reaction that most chemistry students see in class. We're going to take some hydrogen peroxide and watch it decompose into water and oxygen gas. But the hydrogen peroxide we're using today isn't that 3% stuff that you might put on a cut or a wound. This is 27% hydrogen peroxide, nine times more concentrated than what you'd buy at the drugstore. And by the way, I bought this at the pool supply store where, where it's sold as Bacquisil Pool Oxidizer. Now I'm going to start the reaction by putting some soap in the bottom of a graduated cylinder so we can see when the bubbles are produced. Next, I'm going to add about 200 milliliters of the Bacquisil hydrogen peroxide. I want to be careful because this is some pretty strong stuff. You don't want to get it on your skin. It will burn you. Next, we're going to watch this here for a second. Now, hydrogen peroxide will decompose on its own into water and oxygen gas. But the problem is that it's a very slow reaction with a high activation energy. It would take about a month to see much of a reaction here. And since we don't have that kind of time, I'm going to add a catalyst. And the catalyst that I'm going to use is potassium iodide. I'm going to put this into a tub because this might get a little bit messy. Here's the, hydrogen, uh, the uh, potassium iodide. Now that's a catalyst. This is getting pretty hot. I even see some steam here. So this is a pretty exothermic reaction. Now, one of the characteristics of a catalyst is that it's the same at the end as it is at the beginning. So that means that there should be some potassium iodide here in the tub. I know that iodide will turn a piece of paper purple because iodine reacts with the starch in the paper. Let's see what happens when I touch the paper to the suds. Look at that it turns the paper purple. So that means that the iodide is still here. I hope you enjoyed this chemical demonstration. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and subscribe for more demos and chemistry lessons.